Hello everyone, Eileen Godwin here. I'd like to share with you some techniques today using brush paints. Three simple backgrounds on this video. Uh, I'll be using rubber necker stamps and some memory box products. Firstly though, some information for you about the brush paints themselves. So let's move this card out of the way, come back to it in a moment or two. And here the little pot of brush paints in black. As you can see, I'm not taking the lids off of these. I've made a hole in the top of each lid with a pokey tool and I use the pot rather like a salt and pepper shaker. And this way I find that I've got total control over how much product I need to get out of the pot at any one time uh, for whatever it is that I'm doing with it on the cardstock much more control and it will last you for such a long time because you use so little of it. I found that the pigmentation of these paints is so vibrant and so rich that if you use a lot of the paint then it's very difficult to see any stamping that you do over the top or, or stenciling for that matter. So you do need to be aware that you mustn't use too much and it's going to last you forever. So how much do we use? Well, let's look. Centura Pearl cardstock, and I've cut the uh, shape using um, Lifestyle Crafts Cutting Dies Nesting Optican. I really do like this shape. I like the hexagon as well. I've got that one also. So, before we put the paints on, I've used Goosebumps Clear Texture Spray. They do do others. You've got a matte one and there's a pearlized one, a tinted one. Uh, but I like the Clear Texture Spray and that's what I've used. It acts as a sort of resist. So here we go. And this is how much we use. One, two, three. You can just about see that, I think. Now the water. One, two, three. I'm not going to use any more. I do like the feathering that it gives. Now watch it develop. You could add a little bit more water if you wanted to, to give you a wider field, but I really like that, and uh, I think I'll stick with that. And it's really developing well. Look at the pigmentation in that black. All the blue and the orange, it's such a pretty versatile colour. And that's what I've made the card out of it, out of that colour. So let's go back to that. So we've got the die shape for the base card and for two layers. That's the uh, topper layer and then the black underneath it. Uh, after that, after spraying and leaving it to air dry, I much prefer air drying rather than using a heat gun on it. Sometimes the heat gun can take some of the vivid colour away from the, from the paint. Air drying is much better. And then two large snowflakes from, what's it called? Precious snowflakes from Memory Box. Two of the large and one of the small one there. And I've cut them twice each, uh, both in white cardstock and in black cardstock underneath and finishing it all off with um, a clarity stamp piece on earth. I think that's really pretty and it only uses black, no other colour from your brush repertoire. 